When people think about determinism, they are sometimes prone to equate it with fatalism. I'm determined to do that. They'll say, yes, because it was your destiny. You were fated to do that, so you were determined. But fate and determinism are not the same thing. Determinism is actually stronger than fate. I want to tell you a story, okay? I want you to imagine that I went to see a psychic. And when I went to see the psychic, she told me my future. My future is that I'm going to die from a fall from a great height. So I get my future. I'm going to die from a fall from a great height. Now, it would seem I have a number of different paths open to me. When I get this proclamation from, from my, my psychic friend, okay, at T1, I can say, <laughs> whatever. I only went to see that quack because somebody dared me to. And so I have absolutely no belief that I'm actually going to die from a fall from a great height. So I am going to continue living in the Hampton Roads area, working in Norfolk, where I go over three bridges to get to work and I commonly take elevators up to six floors, ninth floors, what have you, of buildings. Okay, so option number one, I laugh, I stay in Norfolk, everything's great. Option number two is I take it seriously, but think it's awesome. Okay, I'm going to die from a fall from a great height. Well, if I'm going to die from a fall from a great height, let me tell you, it is going to be in style. I'm going to Colorado. I'm going to live in the Rocky Mountains. I'm going to snowboard and I'm going to mountain climb and I'm going to ski black diamond um, trails and I am just going to be fabulous. Okay. So my next option is I move to Colorado. My other option is I, I hear my, my future, I'm going to die from a fall from a great height and think, holy crap, there's a reason I don't like heights. Heights are bad. And now I've been told I'm going to die because I fall from a really, really, really tall one. I don't think so. No, no, no. I'm moving to Iowa. Okay. I'm moving to Iowa because Iowa is flat, flat, flat land. I'm going to go to Iowa where the land is flat. I'm going to buy a one story house. I am going to uh, sit on the floor to eat. I'm, I'm not, I won't even go up step ladders to change light bulbs. I won't, I won't have a front porch. Okay. The door opens and I'm on the ground. I will not go to any offices for doctors or anything like that, that are not on the first floor. I will not under any circumstances die from a fall from a great height. So I go to Iowa. All right. Here's the deal. I stay in Norfolk. I've laughed in the face of the psychic. I drive over my three bridges. I take my elevators to buildings where I go to the sixth floor, the ninth floor, what have you. And one day everything's great. I get into my elevator. I press nine. I'm headed up in the elevator when all of a sudden the cable snaps. The car plunges to the bottom of the building where I die from a fall from a great height. Okay, well, Colorado it is then, right? I'm going to Colorado, I'm going to ski, I'm going to snowboard, I'm going to mountain climb, everything's going to be fabulous. 
and one day I'm going to be walking along, I'm going to hit a patch of ice, I'm going to slip, I'm going to go shooting off the side of the mountain, and I'm going to die from a fall from a great height. But I've done it in style. Okay, this is bad. I don't think so. I'm going to Iowa. I'm going to Iowa where the land is flat, where I don't have to climb stairs even to like do one step to change a light bulb. My bed is going to be on the floor, mattress just right there on the floor, no problem. Yeah, that sounds like the way to go. I'm gonna move to Iowa. So I've gone to Iowa, everything's wonderful. I'm cruising along, walking along on the flatlands of Iowa when looking up at the blue clear sky, I fall in a well and die from a fall from a great height. Okay, here's what determinism says about my story. Determinism says the past and the laws of nature necessitate the present, okay? What that means is there is, in fact, only one action I can ever perform. I can only stay in Norfolk. I never actually have open to me the paths to go to Colorado or go to Iowa, okay? Imagine you're hiking on a trail and you come to a fork, but across two of the paths are gigantic, enormous felled trees that you cannot get over or get around. You have only one path to take. That's determinism. Alternatively, fatalism says something different. Fatalism says, I actually have free will. I have opened to me every single one of these paths. I do, in fact, get to choose to stay in Norfolk or move to Colorado or move to Iowa. That is my choice. The trees are gone. All of the hiking paths are open to me. But all of them end up in the same place. No matter what, all of these paths are taking me to the same place. I have free will to choose how I get there, but I'm still going to get there no matter what. So do you see that difference? Determinism is much stronger than fatalism. Determinism says you never have those paths open to you. Big old felled trees right in your path. You can only take one. Whereas fatalism says, oh no, you get to choose paths. But no matter which path you choose, your destination is the same. You know, you, you're taking the hike, no matter which path you choose, you're gonna end up at the waterfall, right? Does that make sense?